Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. So if you've come from Instagram, then you already probably know what I've been up to in the past two weeks. But if you're new, then you've probably seen it from the title. So basically, I saw this video a couple of weeks ago of this guy. I just came across it. I can't remember what I was watching and... It was something removing something. I don't even remember. I don't know how where I end up on YouTube, honestly. But anyway, so then this guy was removing a really big mole, like a 3D one from his ear, using apple cider vinegar. So in the comments, I saw a lot of people mentioning how it worked for them, and even though they had flat beauty spots. So with me, I don't really have moles. Moles are the ones that kind of stand up. They're more 3D. The bigger in size and beauty spots are the ones that are flat so with me i have a lot of beauty spots all over my body all over my face i have so many and growing up i had like a love hate relationship with them like there were days i would love them and there were days i was like oh my god like i don't like them at all but in the end i just end up having a love relationship with them and i kind of just they just became part of my personality and i just got over the whole thing of having a problem with them but then when I saw this video, I thought, you know what, I do have a lot. Like, as in, I could, you know, I could just try it out on one of them and see if it works. So then what I did is I tried it out on two. Like I said, on my face, I have flat beauty spots. But I do have a very tiny um, mole on my body. So that one I can't really show you, but take my word for it because this one is coming off. And um, so it, uh, initially I wanted to try on that one because it was 3D, it was similar to the one the guy in the video was removing, so I was sure that would work. But then I thought, if that works, like, do the flat ones work? And in the comments people were saying that the flat ones were, could um, be removed with vinegar, so, but I wanted to see it, so then I tested on both of them. Now, let me just tell you, when I first did it, I went in with like zero faith, faith like zero faith like i didn't think this was gonna work at all why i was trying it was one because the guy on the video looked a bit honest and two um we're in lockdown i have nothing to do i have nothing to lose even if i burn my face i have enough time to heal my face so i was like you know what just try it out now i have makeup on it you can barely see it so this is how it looks like with makeup like you can barely see it it's completely not there but obviously it is still in the healing process and eventually the wound not the wound the mark will go away as long as I keep it moisturized today is day eight of the whole process and I'm just gonna explain to you exactly how what happened on every day so first things first what I used I used apple cider vinegar it was oh my god it's matching my jumper it was exactly this brand this bottle this everything and a q-tip so what i did is i got apple cider vinegar and i put it into the lid of this bottle very small lid and i filled it up and i dab i dipped the q-tip in there it was completely soaked and i kept dabbing on the beauty spot and the mold so what i did is for one hour continuously so you dab it on and the second you realize okay the skin's absorbed in my skin was absorbing it in i'd say every minute so a minute would pass or a minute and 30 seconds and it would vanish and i think that's pretty normal because it's not like an oil it's literally water it's a vinegar so it dries really fast once it's absorbed i used to dab it uh, i used to dip the q-tip back into the lid and dab it once again i did that for one hour the first night it did get red um, and it did sting. So if you have sensitive skin, I would recommend that you dilute, dilute it water, but then you need to have more faith because it will take longer for you. But I think as long as you're dabbing it directly onto the beauty spot, it won't get that red. But with me, I didn't really like protect my skin. I was just like dabbing it with the Q-tip and obviously the Q-tip was bigger than the beauty spot, which is why I think my skin got red around it. But it does sting, um, not like mental where you'll be crying, but enough where you know something is happening. So I did that for the first day and I went to bed. The next day I woke up and I washed my face as normal with soap or whatever you, I use soaps, I use soap, you can use your cleansers perfectly fine for you to remove it. The texture does change. You will notice that the next day the beauty spot or the mole is drier and the texture on it, it has like, not a pattern, but it has texture you know what I mean it's not as smooth 
that's normal um the next day i did the same thing for one hour i did it now this is where um it started stinging a lot and I think the reason for that was because what I did is you know once I put the apple cider vinegar on I did not see this in the video but I don't know why I did this but what happened was once I put it on I got a tweezer and I kind of just like poked at it a little bit now I think because of the night before the apple cider vinegar my skin was super sensitive so when I had done that it kind of not wounded but it made it more sensitive so when I had put the apple cider vinegar on the second night it was like extra sensitive so it was stinging more i think it would sting as normal if you were doing it like without what i did but if i'm honest i feel like the poking helped only because i felt like it made it become a scab faster but i'm not recommending this look i'm not a skin specialist or a dermatologist or anything this is just something i did and it worked for me I don't have sensitive skin, so I don't want you to destroy yourself. But if you don't have sensitive skin, I think if you did poke out a little bit, it wouldn't actually be too bad, you know? But anyway, so I did that. And then the next night, this is where it started to flake. So the third day for me, the 3D um, mole started to flake. So by flake, I mean it was like drying up a lot. And I could feel like... Um, like it was not coming off but it was like getting ready to fall off i don't know how to explain that now on the fourth day is where i just took control so what i did is i got the tweezer and i started to peel it if you know what i'm like i started kind of hitting it on the edges oh as for the flat uh, beauty spot the flat beauty spot was still the same it like it was flaking it was getting dry but it was not like um i didn't see much of a change to be honest when i started seeing hope for the 3d uh, mold to come off i didn't think that the other one would come off at all like i had completely believed this only works for molds but then if like i said i was pricking at, at the 3d mold and it came off it literally came off so once it came off it did bleed a little bit very 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 tiny bit and i just got a tissue and i just pressed it against it and then it was fine i just put a lot of moisturizer on it from that day and oil you need to like i put a lot of oil because i just didn't want it to wound not wound sorry it has to become a wound but i didn't want it to like leave a mark i just wanted to like really keep it moisturized and um happy Day five, I'm just sitting there and I just got like um, the feeling to just like, basically, I just wanted to um, peel off the dryness. But I thought, mate, like inside I was hoping that when I peel off the dryness, it'll come off. Because it's just like with mold, with flat molds, they're basically just like a layer of skin. So now that it had dried up it was easy for it to kind of come off so what i did is i got the tweezer and when i started po when i just slightly poked at it i realized the skin had lifted and that's where i knew oh my god this is coming off i left it that day because when i peeled it a little bit it was very wet and i did not want the bleeding i did not want it to get like ruined or whatever so i left it i pressed it back down i left it that day and in the night um i peeled at it and it came off it literally came off and it was super pink it did not bleed it did not bleed it was wet slightly but um it did not bleed and it did not hurt it was perfectly fine and i just what like what uh, wiped around it and stuff and i applied my oil and my moisturizer and i went to bed now day six is the video i'm gonna show you no sorry day seven day seven is the video i'm gonna put in the next clip where you can see completely um how it looked you can see the texture you can see the color you can see how flat and how flat it's got and everything okay so this is day seven guys this is what it looks like after the entire process of the scabbing and the dryness and the falling off and everything and it's really flat now you can see my beauty spot on my cheek that's exactly what the other beauty spot looked like so this is actually a great comparison and it just i think it's amazing that it works so well with just one product Guys, that is the end of the video i hope you enjoyed this video and i just wanted to know that 
don't be going crazy okay don't be having a heart attack this is a slow process it does take time for me it took seven days in total for some people I saw that it took like three days so I don't know like everyone is different everyone's skin is different and some people in the comments were saying that this took 11 days so you just need to be easy with your skin especially if you're doing it on your face with me it was the risk of my face having like a permanent scar which I didn't want and that was what was worrying me the most so it's like you need to understand it's your face you cannot take the risk of leaving a scar so just be patient and keep it really clean and moisturized and just don't like uh, prick at it too much because the more it bleeds the more there's chances of it leaving a mark and that's what you don't want you don't want it to bleed so if it does bleed I mean what can you do but if you just don't want it to like keep poking at it where it's like bleeding throughout the scabbing process you don't want that but anyways take care of yourself and I hope it works for you and if you have any questions or anything let me know down below and I'll be happy to help you bye guys mm -hmm.